turn. And that's it, they're under orders and away. And Massilier breaks fast towards the near side. Young Inca's right up there in the early stages too, and so is Precious Metal and Miss Primula, a numismatist towards the near side also. Over on the far side, showing good speed. Lonely Street, Miracles Take Time, Powder Blue, Bridesmaid not far off the lead. York is showing very good speed too. Miss Primula on the near side, right up with them, and it's Miss Primula on the near side. Over on the far side, it's Yorkist. Yorkist on the far side, Miss Primula on the near side. Father Time's making progress in the center. Easy Line's not far behind him, and Hilton Brown, but it's Miss Primula on the near side, still making it on the near side. Over on the far side, Yorkist coming there quite strongly. Is Lonely Street on the far side also, and Powder Blue, but it's Miss Primula on the near side from Father Time, Hilton Brown, coming in there quite strongly now is Golden Tree, but it's Miss Primula on the near side. Over on the far side, Lonely Street making good progress, and Bell Bayou coming there strongly with Joking Lad, and Bell Bayou comes to take it up inside the final furlong. It's Bell Bayou from Miss Primula and Joking Lad as they race towards the line. Bell Bayou from Joking Lad, and Bell Bayou is going to win the book game at the line. Bell Bayou is the winner, and Joking Lad is second, and Miss Primula in a photo there with Lonely Street. Miss Primula may have just beaten Lonely Street, but that third and fourth. Bill Bayou won it from Dorking Lad, and so the result of the 1987 Wokingham. First, number 23. Bell Bayou, owned by Mr. Fard Salman, trained by Paul Cole, and written by Richard Quinn. Second was number 17. Dorking Lad, owned by Mr. John Friedman, trained by Mark Tom Tompkins, and written by Ray Cochran, and it's a photograph for third place between number 36, Miss Primula, who may have just held on to be third. So a sensational gamble landed here, and you can see the winner already under pressure at the two furlong marker, just one off the rails there, but starting to make ground, just uh, between the two horses with the nose band. Miss Primula in front, uh, set a terrific gallop, this uh, Dominion filly who's in foal, but couldn't quite get home. In the center of the course, Lonely Street, just a drifting across, it might be Lonely Street who's been responsible for the interference. Father Time had no run in the middle there, you can see he's being carried right across, but Bell Bayou has surged into the lead here as Miss Primula weakens on the rails, and now the challenger is Dorking Lad, comes with a terrific run, Lonely Street running on, but the gamble's been landed, and Richard Quinn hasn't even had to get serious with Bell Bayou. Back from 12 to 1, down to 6 to 1, two and a half lengths winner of the Dorkingham Stakes, in second place is Dorking Lad, a very close thing for third between Lonely Street and Miss Primula. Well, the head-on view, I'm sure, will show quite a lot of interference. And if you look towards the left, that might be the scene of some of it. Lonely Street with the white face and the dark green colours, that does seem to have drifted a little bit to the left there and may well in have interfered with one or two. Certainly, the horse with the red cap there, Father Time, he was a horse who was interfered with. Didn't seem to have much of a run at all. You'll see him switching to the right. The horse is on the right, the principals. I don't see any problems there at all. And Bell Bayou, as you can see, has come from one off the rails on that favoured ground towards the stands rails. And no sort of problem exists there. Father Time, you can see, has switched right away to the right there, but it's too late in the race. The die is cast now, and that's where the bunching has occurred, and also in the centre of the pack as well. But over on the right, I don't think if you, if you back Bell Bayou, there's nothing to worry about, whatever, so far as we can see. And the gamble has been landed in style. In second place, is Dorking Lad and close for third between Lonely Street and Miss Primula, this gallant filly on a four-time